Indigo cultivation during the British rule in India. Let's get to the 18th century. The production of clothes increased. This also increased in demand of indigo to dye clothes. Soon, indigo plant became popular, which can give the Britishers a rich blue color for their clothes. They started to think that from where they can get this, the answer was very easy. And that was India. At this time, India was a colony of British. The English East India Company decided to use Indians for the production of indigo. It soon turned into a business. They offered loans to grow indigo plants. But it wasn't easy. And after, indigo farmers were not willing to produce indigo. Because indigo cultivation exhausted fertility of soil. And the money offered by the British indigo planters was very less. So, they weren't able to pay the loans back. But they even can't ask for more money. If they did or they left the indigo cultivation, the Britishers will take their properties for the reason of not getting the loan back. Let's see how did it happen. There were two main system of indigo cultivation. The first one was need system and the second one was Riyoti. What was need system? It was using their own land by the farmers for production of indigo. They found it a little difficult because of they had to arrange large tracts of fertile land, a large number of hired labors and plug and bullocks. Thus, the Britishers looked for another method, that was Riyoti system. The planters signed a contract with Riyots, that was known as Satta. Loans were given to Riyots. The Riyots had to cultivate indigo on at least 25% of the area under his holding. Indigo was delivered to the British at the very low price. So, the farmers found it difficult to pay the loans and they weren't getting the profit. And on another hand, the Britishers used to give more loans but again the same happened and same and same. But soon, the farmers understand that the system was very harsh and the whole profit was going to the Britishers. They weren't earning any profit. Let's get more deep into it. The price of indigo delivered by the British was very low and with the amount they were never able to pay their loans. This cycle of loan never ended. Thus, this had cruel effect on Indian farmers which soon led the Revilance in the region like Bengal and Bihar. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.